approaching points for close catching. Feet about shoulder width apart, hands together, fingers pointing away from the ball, pointing to the ground, to the side or to the sky. Give with the ball by bending your elbows as you take the ball. Keep your eyes on the ball all the way into your hands. Pairs close catching activity. The objective is to practice close catching. This keeps all players active and engaged. Players get into pairs. Partners stand opposite each other about two metres apart. The distance depends on the age and ability of the players. The coach can increase or decrease the distance as appropriate. Throw the ball underarm back and forth trying to see how many catches they can take in a given time, for example one minute. Players catch the ball with two hands. The player with the most successful catches in one minute, or the time given, wins. A dropped ball doesn't count as a successful catch. Progression 1. One-handed catch with dominant hand. Players throw and catch the ball with their dominant hand. See how many catches they can take in a given time, for example one minute. Progression 2. One-handed catches with non-dominant hand. Players throw with their dominant hand and catch with their non-dominant hand. See how many catches they can take in a given time, say one minute. Progression 3. Add in a second ball to each pair. Each partner starts off with a ball. One partner holds a ball in their right hand and the other holds it in their left hand. Throw the balls at the same time from right hand to right hand and left hand to left hand. Introduce a given time to stimulate competition, such as how many catches can you take in one minute. Progression 4. Get players into two parallel lines facing each other. Pass the ball underarm to the player facing you, then move to the end of the line. The focus here is catching on the move, decision making and keeping the eye on the ball. Introduce a second ball to add complexity.